Good afternoon, Chairman Hilton, members of the committee. Thank you for having me. My name is Terrence Wilson. I'm the Regional Policy and Community, Community Engagement Director for IDRA. And we are also primarily concerned about the part of the bill that speaks to the lowest 25%. Um, and specifically, um, with the whole process of having students move from in district to another, that's something that not all of our parents and families and students have the privilege to be able to do. As you know, in current law, it requires you to be able to provide transportation and to be able to pay in some, not every district, but in most districts, some level of, of uh, tuition. And so here in Georgia, uh, especially in rural Georgia, we have a huge issue with the number of students and families living in poverty. 17% of Georgia's children live in poverty. Those numbers are much higher for students uh, who are black and Latino. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we're coming up with solutions that are gonna serve the majority of students, right? There may be some small number of parents and students who may take advantage of this, but for the majority of students, especially of those students uh, in some areas of our state have a 40% to 80% of students living in poverty, so they're just not gonna be able to take uh, advantage of this. So we would hope that you would, instead of coming up with a solution like this, that we would instead focus on solutions to really help support under-resourced schools. And um, you know, specifically, we were talking about the bottom 25%, I don't know why this thing keeps going off on me. Um, when we're talking about the bottom 25%, we know that oftentimes it's not a reflection of the leadership in the school, but more of the amount of resources. So if you look at the relationship between direct certification you know, or poverty, our students that are experiencing poverty are less capable, but we do believe it's because we have not systematic, systematically invested in those school districts. And so although this may be good for some students and families, the majority of our students, especially of those living in poverty, would not be able to benefit from this. So we actually asked the committee to consider things that are already in place. Uh, there's been a bill um, that has been proposed by one of your colleagues, Representative Olalie, um, that would add a poverty weight uh, to our school funding formula that would address some of the issues that those bottom 25% schools may be experiencing. And then also to focus on community-based collaborative strategies, work with those communities um, to understand what they need to support all of the students that are gonna remain in the school district. Thank you very much. I'm opening any questions if you have any.